we had some violent activity today. You guys are going to... AMD, if you didn't see AMD this morning, it was extremely violent out of the open. And I consider myself fortunate because it just was violent in one direction. Sometimes AMD gets crazy and it whips up, it whips down, it whipsaws everywhere, it stops you out in every aspect of every trade. So I was lucky this morning in that it just got violent to the downside. I've got it on video. I'm going to show you every second of it. I made almost $900 today in, I think it was 52 seconds. I went back and looked at the timestamps. Super, super quick trade. I didn't expect this. And then in the middle of this trade, something crazy happened. I tried to move my stop and I kind of, kind of fumbled it. So I want to show you that and talk through um, the logic of, of why I exited when I did and how I put that together. But you can see right now on here that I've got this trade set up and it's an order for 1200 shares and you can see my short order here. I'm looking to go short below the low of this candle here. Now, the weird thing about this is when you put in a stop limit order, sometimes it shows it a little odd, like it looks like I'm trying to enter here, but this is actually the extended far limit of the stop limit order. The actual trigger for the order is up in, at, you know, 10 cents below this low. So it kind of looks funny from this angle, but just so you know, that's why this is down here. But I'm looking to get short below this low. You can see that when the bell opened, it whipped up, but it didn't breach me to the upside. If it would have breached me to the upside, I do have an order waiting at that point, so I would have been triggered in. I wasn't triggered in, it whipped back down, and I'm just gonna let you watch it, and I'll comment here as we go. But you can see a really hard push down. I got my fill at 92.45, which was 10 cents below the low of that last candle. Now I wanna stop it right here. You can see how crazy this fill was. I was getting filled one share, 18, five, 30, a really slow and sluggish fill today. Um, I don't usually like seeing that. That usually causes some issues, but today it didn't seem to be a problem. So as I continue on, I'm filled at 92, 42 and a half. So actually a really nice fill. And then we just start watching it. And you're gonna see in a second, I'm gonna come over and I'm gonna take a look at this stop loss and I'm gonna edit that order. As most of you know, I like to edit that order and I'll explain real quick what I'm doing. I'm editing that stop market order because what I want to do is when I see 2.5R on my PL over here, 2.5R for me is $750. As soon as I see it flash $750, I'm going to fire off that stop loss and I'm going to move it from where it is now to a positive 2R in my direction so that I can guarantee that no matter, no matter what happens in this trade, I'm locking in 2R. So I'm gonna do that, but you're gonna see a little bit of a blunder. So I got the edit, I put it 50 cents lower, which is 2R for me, and now I'm waiting. I'm watching this p and I'm saying, okay, when do we hit 750? Whenever we do, I'm firing this off, and there it was. But, here's the crazy part. I fire it off when it's trading for 762 on the p &L, right? So it's a perfect fire, and I'm gonna put it at 2R, which is 600. But in a microsecond, as I advance this, it's immediately at 546. It was so violent, it whipped back below 2R, so that when I put my stop loss out, you can see it, it gets put out right here, but the price action is already back below it. I'm actually on the other side of my stop loss. So what the system will do is actually just cancel the stop loss, which is what happens here. You can look up here. It canceled it because you can't put it, you can't put it on the wrong side of the price action. So now I'm naked and I'm considering, you know, what do I need to do? I need to click over here in the chain, set a stop loss, edit it, make it a stop market order, and then send it out. But in my head in real time, I'm thinking that's going to take multiple seconds, at which point this stock could whip all the way back to break even or even put me down. So what I decided to do was watch it for a second, see what it does. If I get a big push in my favor, take the profit. So that's ultimately what I end up doing here. 
It pushes down. I'm just waiting. I'm like, well, let's see what happens. It pushes over $900, almost $900, and I just click flatten. And you can see that again right here. It pushes down 750, 78, 810, 858, 870, 846. I hit flatten and I'm out. And you can see my order. I got filled at 916898 for 200 shares and 916898 at another order for 1,000. So I got filled and finished the day up $882.38, which is almost $900 in just 52 seconds. So incredible price action today, incredible trade. Very, very violent. I haven't seen a violent trade like this on AMD, I think since October. The whole month of November, I don't remember one being this violent. Back in October, I had a few trades where I was actually being punched out with a 2.5 or a 2R P&L within, you know, sometimes less than 30 seconds. So this was great to see. This is sort of an indication to me that, you know, maybe AMD is picking up a little momentum going into the holidays. Maybe we'll get more violent moves like this. Now, the thing you might be saying to yourself is, well, Jimmy, you didn't, you didn't follow your plan. And you're right, I didn't. Bungling or fumbling that, that stop loss um, edit threw me way off. And so I punched out. So now my concern is, what if this is a monster? What if this is a 14R runner? So I can play this a little bit. I think I cut the film off pretty soon. But it continues to push down. It pushes down hard for a while. And ultimately it went as low as 7.5R. So it would have been really nice to be along for that. And I would have been if I would have been able to get that stop loss in. But what happened is after this played out, it crept all the way back up before this candle closed. And it would have stopped me out at 2R. So if I would have stayed with this trade... I would have been committed to my trade plan and I would have been stopped for 2R. If I would have broke my plan and just flattened it as it was raging to the downside, there's a chance I could have locked in between 6 and 7R, possibly close to 7.5R if I'd have gotten lucky and bottom ticked it. But I didn't. I just punched it out. I'm very happy with what, what it is given that I screwed things up. I, I, I messed up the stop loss. But... What you can see, and I'm going to flip over to the chart real quick, is that over here, it did come back. This was where I'd be stopped out. That was my 2.5R. If this candle came back, it stopped me out, it dropped, and it finished right here. And then you can see it matched itself back and then created sort of a, a nice breakout zone here and then went long. So it ended up being um, great price action to both sides. I caught it to the downside. You could have also at some point possibly taken it to the upside depending on what your trade plan is and uh, it could have looked good both ways. Um, this morning in the Facebook private group, if you're not part of that private group, go ahead and click the link in the YouTube banner and put in a request and I'll approve you. But in the private group, we had all kinds of great discussion this morning on um, opening range breakouts, different strategy talk, a lot of back and forth. So there was a lot of great engagement in the private group this morning. So I want to thank everybody for that. But this trade was super interesting, and I'm just going to show you the uh, just going to show you the PNL so you can see it. But um, 882.38 is where it ended up. Great trade. Great to see some some violent volatility out of AMD right out of the gates. You can see if I move myself out of the way, this first 15 minute candle brought in a little over 5 million shares traded. You can see that right here when I hover that candle. 5 million shares in that opening 15 minute candle. So a lot of great action out of AMD. A great winner today. Almost $900 ends up being a full 3R, almost a full 3R position for me. So it's going to end the week for me at uh, 7.5, no, 7.75R, almost, almost an 8R week for me. So really, really exciting. Great start to December, and uh, we'll see where we go from here. If you have questions about your strategy or your trade management, drop it in the comments below. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. We'd love to have you. Hit the like button if you got any value out of this video or if you just want to see me continue to produce these live or these recorded 
trade recaps because I think it's helpful for people to be able to see price action and see how someone's trading it and have somebody comment on why they did this, why they did that, and just kind of go through the ins and outs. I find it really helpful. I want to keep providing it for free, but I want to have a lot of people come to the channel, get the subscribership moving in the right direction. And also, if you haven't checked out our private Facebook group, look at the banner on the YouTube channel. Click the Facebook icon. It'll take you over to our private group. Submit a request. I'll approve you right away. We're getting a lot of great discussion in there and a lot of good people who are trying to learn. We got people who are brand new. We got people who have been trading for quite a while. A lot of different uh, mix of experience. So go ahead and join us over there. Hope this was helpful. Comment below and we'll see you next time. Oh, this was trade 106. I forgot to mention that. Trade 106 AMD, violent push to the downside, almost plus 3R. All right, have a good day.